Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. We are Friday, May, uh, the um, I, April 5th. <laughs> I was about to say May 5th. April 5th, 2019. And uh, didn't do a lot of videos today. It was pretty busy. I had a lot of things to do. But I did want to have a few videos uh, for the weekend. So, of course, uh, yesterday the big news, once again, about the uh, Windows 10 Next update that will be the May 2019 update rather than April and that's because they're going to test it longer uh, next week 18362 which is the build for the May 2019 update will be pushed to uh, the release preview ring which is the last ring that is just before the officially release a uh, Windows version now if you are still on the insider builds because I talk about it remember uh, they actually warned everybody to, today that it's time to actually move off if you want to remove yourself. So go to your update and security, go into your Windows Insider program here. Make sure that you actually switch on the Optis device out of flighting when the next major release of Windows 10 is installed. And of course, uh, unlink your Insider account for Microsoft. Uh, and you'll be um, staying at this Windows version. That's another indication, of course, that we are officially at the May 2019 update because they're telling you, well, if you want to opt out, it's time to opt out. Just confirming that, yep, that's the update, that's the version. Um, of course, a few people having uh, questions about the uh, May update. So yes, it's going to be released in May only, not April like it was supposed to. Uh, for those that are asking, how do you know this is the May update? We know. Uh, the May update is available to insiders. That's where we are now. That's what we are. you are seeing when you watch my PC and my videos here, the May 2019 update. Um, there was a cumulative update yesterday that was pushed to slow and fast ring for those that are there. And um, interesting, I don't have the uh, sluggishness. I don't have that slow start anymore. It seems to have fixed that. Now when my PC starts, is as fast as it was when I was on the October 2019, 2018 update, sorry. So this is kind of interesting because um, it's really fixed my boot up problem. A lot of you talking about the flickering screen. Um, there's one thing that comes out if the flickering screen is off of Google Chrome. Apparently it's a Google Chrome issue and that Google knows about it and it will be fixed. So there will become an update. Um, there'll be an update to Google Chrome browser for that. As for the rest, I haven't had, because I some of you uh, know that I've talked about a flickering screen issue that I did have when I upgraded to the May 2019 update or build 18.3.6.2. Now, I haven't seen it since I updated with the cumulative update yesterday. It doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again. But if I do have it again, I will, of course, talk about it uh, for sure. So um, remember, because uh, some of you got it wrong, I've had a few comments of people getting it totally wrong. Yes, there will be, you will be able to um, defer updates for the, uh, all the new major versions of Windows 10, what they call feature updates. So starting with 20, the May 2019 update, you will actually get the possibility to keep it if you want for 18 months it won't be pushed to you actually it's possible that that will all already be in the update that you have right now so if you're on the um october 2018 update or the april 2018 update well the may 2019 update will from what i understand also appears as a separate update that's going to be there but uh different and separate from the updates, uh, the cumulative updates that you get. Starting with the May 2019 update, we're supposed to see the possibility to defer updates 35 days for the cumulative updates. Uh, now, I don't see it here on my machine, but uh, somehow, apparently, that will be the case. But um, that's interesting because, anyways, for the new versions of Windows, every time that there's going to be a feature update, a major update, um, I think a lot of people will be happy that they can stay put on whatever version they have. Somebody asked me, will it know that, you know, uh, when you get to that 18 month date, will it know that you are not, um, you know, eligible 
or that your PC might not be okay for that feature update because of maybe some hardware uh, incompatibility or something that have changed. Uh, well, yes, because the telemetry tells Microsoft that you are uh, compatible or not with a certain update. So they don't push it when they know that you're not compatible. That means if after 18 months of staying on this update, you are going to get, of course, automatically pushed to uh, a feature update, a major feature update after 18 months because your Windows 10 will expire, uh, you should technically be pushed to the last version that exists that is compatible with your machine if, um, if, if of course, um, you have one. Somebody also asked me, said, Mom, I heard that, you know, we're not sure when versions will be compatible or not. So there's one thing that's unclear and it's always been kind of unclear with Microsoft. Um, we had a few versions of Windows 10 that um, Microsoft had issued, you know, uh, saying uh, a warning, saying, well, PCs with this type of processor or this type of hardware won't get new updates anymore because they're not going to be compatible uh, with the future Windows 10 updates. That's always been a very weird and gray area where we don't really know exactly um, when a version can or cannot be compatible with the machine. So it's possible that people with an old PC, an older PC that is six, seven, eight, nine years, might at some point stop receiving feature updates for the simple reason that maybe a hardware uh, incompatibility of some sort will show up or they're not going to support that hardware anymore but you know we don't really know because they're not saying much but right now you know everything seems to be okay for the future updates and uh last but not least for those that are insiders um remember that fast ring will start getting updates probably i wouldn't be surprised next week skip ahead and fast ring are actually merging uh, again that means that 20h1 that version of windows 10 for next year is actually going to be tested on the fast ring and some speculate that maybe the slow ring would get the um, 19h2 the next version of windows so they would kind of reassign um, slow ring fast ring in the different versions that they're going to test which would mean that slow ring would be more active than it was before apparently so anyways we'll see how that goes and of course, uh, we're going to post videos when we learn new things about what's happening with the Windows 10 May 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.